first of all let me thank asma tv for giving me an opportunity about uh, uh the 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 point which i'm trying to make on blockchain uh, you see uh, we are in industry 4.0 era now when we were in industry 1.0 we had the advent of uh, a technology called steam engine which took over animal power uh, and which took over the human power then came industry 2.0 where we had electricity that was a pretty long era of about 100 years then came industry 3.0 when we had the benefit of transistors we had the benefit of it technology we had computerized production believe me we are in industry 4.0 now and people are saying that industry 4.0 and industry 5.0 will be com- continuously infused one into the other what is happening in industry 4.0 industry 4.0 is having a huge digitization of the world in this process we have seen deep learning machine learning advanced robotics we have t- we have seen self administered car we are now going to see swarm computing we are now going to see the world of blockchain also now when blockchain came people thought that blockchain is for bitcoin only or blockchain is for cryptocurrency only let me tell you i have recently written uh, two papers on blockchain these have been published and there i have proved that blockchain is not bitcoin bitcoin is not blockchain like whenever you see think of any any lubricating oil you think of mob, you call it mobile so in the general perception people say blockchain is equal to uh, uh, bitcoin or cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency is equal to blockchain no 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 absolutely no the issue here is very simple what is blockchain blockchain is nothing but an immute non immutable uh this centralized a ledger with 100% cryptographed and very transparent and if you need to hack into any blockchain technology based application you are going to have a super computer which the world has not seen as yet but as the god's computer would be able to hack it why i am talking about because blockchain is a lever distributed technology you can hack one computer you can hack two computer can you simultaneously hack 30 40 50 100 2000 computer absolutely not that's not possible so that's what is the beauty of blockchain blockchain uh, was first applied in 2009 and uh, a group of people or one gentleman uh, satoshi nakamoto uh, he he applied the blockchain for uh, something called virtual digital currency but immediately after that one of the team members of that thought that why not blockchain be applied for various other commercial purpose since then up till today when you open twitter or linkedin every day morning you will find one more application of blockchain has come in i was just yesterday uh, looking at a ibm site i found that blockchain will be used for disaster technology management when i say disaster uh, management i am talking about environment uh, conservation bio conservation conservation ocean management i'm talking about biodiversity conservation i'm talking about underground water conservation i'm talking about the 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 uh, water and air pollution recently i have also seen the the president of the european federation of nurses they have started talking about application of blockchain by nurses so that they can take the services of nurses to the people who need it i uh, if you go through the mckinsey's recent study mckinsey has said four industries are going to be benefited through blockchain maximum the first industry to be benefited maximum is agriculture followed by insurance entire bfsi sector for that matter manufacturing sector peer to peer lending and and if you name anything the most important thing which will be there uh, for us with the common citizen of any country is the government service administration would be the most important beneficiary 
Today, if you want to see your land record which you own, you have to perhaps go 10 times to an office of government. If you have blockchain-based land record management, you just see, can see it on your mobile. What is your blockchain-based land registration? Uh, I believe uh, government of Andhra Pradesh is trying to control underground water management by blockchain applications. Look at Punjab. Punjab is absolutely dry now on underground water management. So what is happening in the world is people are thinking of introducing blockchain-based voting. That means you will be using blockchain for voting so that you can elect a parliamentarian or you, you can elect an assembly guy. How, and what is the benefit? Is it the voting the end of it? No. Suppose this gentleman whom you have elected, he is trying to raise a question in parliament. Would he be able to use the blockchain? Yes. He will moot an idea that this is a question I'm going to raise in parliament. What are your views? His constituency will be able to give him views that uh, what, what they feel individually, what is, the going, what is going to be the benefit from this question to the country and the constituency. You can say, uh, uh, will, 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 that, will that take out your identity? For that matter, any application of blockchain will not take out your identity because when you enter into a blockchain technology based platform, you enter into with your two keys. You, you have one private key and you have one public key. Your name will never be distributed, you will never be seen because you will be known by a public key number. But when you enter the blockchain platform, the key which you use is your personal private key which will not be known to the blockchain, other blockchain users. Assume that you are, you are in a healthcare blockchain and you are going to go for a knee surgery or you have got cancer. You want to take the treatment from a cancer uh, specialist of USA and he is going to support the surgery which is happening in India. Can blockchain help his answer is yes. How it can help? It can only, it can only bring in the interested party including the insurance company into the blockchain and say that all the concerned parties right from a general physician, patient, drug supplier, the hospital, the pathological, radiological institutions, American consultant, Indian surgeon, everybody will be taking into the, taken into this blockchain-based answer for giving the service to this gentleman. Suppose we have introduced uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Jojana, which Prime Minister has started, for health for everybody, in that taking the service to the to the ground level person who is the beneficiary of this insurance contract, will blockchain help it? Answer is yes, the blockchain will be able to help it. Take the case of an insurance company. You can reach your home from your house on a, on a, uh, uh, using three routes, assume. And each route has its own accident uh, proneness index. Now, any day you are driving through route number one, it will be captured any day you are driving to route number two, it will be captured. This way when the insurance company is capturing on a daily basis which route you are driving through, your insurance premium is getting decided on a daily basis instead of an annual basis. How it is being used? It is being used with the help of an IoT, Internet of Thing, which is fitted into your car. And the whole administration of hundreds and thousands of cars using the IoT will again be bought into a blockchain platform. So the point I'm trying to make that blockchain is, is, is something which is not Bitcoin. You know, when internet came, everybody thought that the application of internet is only to the extent of internet mail. That is, mail uh, you exchange and you reach your mail to your addressee party within few seconds or minutes. And it was internet is equal to uh, uh, cyber mail and cyber mail is equal to internet. What happens today? If you want to order your food from Swiggy or Jomato, the, uh, connecting to the hotel, you are through internet, right? Blockchain is going to be something. Suppose uh, one singer 
is continuously getting hassled because his songs are getting downloaded and his digital right has been completely destroyed. He lost his money, which he or she should have earned. Can blockchain help it? Answer is yes. Can blockchain help the right to conserve your uh, your right to speak out or uh, you, uh, your right to pass on opinion? Can blockchain? Let's assume that every day you are tweeting. Suddenly, government comes and tells to you, on this particular topic, no Twitter is possible. And all tweets are to be taken out from the system. If you download all the tweets from the Twitter software or Twitter uh, central server, what will happen? Those will be lost forever. Think of a blockchain which will be attached to Twitter. Every time you do it, all your tweets will be cryptographically preserved in a blockchain. After some time, you, you have filed a case with Supreme Court. You win the case from Supreme Court. After you win the case from Supreme Court, can, can those be decryptographed and uploaded into tweeting system? Answer is yes. So let me tell you, hundreds and hundreds of applications are on a, on a digital scientist laboratory today for application of blockchain. You know, uh, one thing is very important here for me to talk about is that technology doesn't have any ethics Technology doesn't have any humanity. Technology doesn't have its own intelligence. What the technologist put into it is that which determines whether this technology will be used for the mankind's benefit or against the mankind's benefit. The point here is very simple. It is the technology which is going to do wonder but it is the digital scientist which is going to make it to do wonder. So, let's get into Gita. What Gita says, if you have a strong body and mind to serve, you can serve a matter of power. But if you have strong body of imagination and intelligence and ethics, you can serve the humanity. So, let me conclude this short clip by saying that Blockchain is here and now. It is the powerhouse of Industry 4.0 era. If you want to have inclusive smile, if you want to have inclusive happiness, if you want to reach the benefits of development to the lowest rung of the society, it is blockchain which will help you. But one caveat here. Like International aviation standard is one standard in the world which is followed by all the nations of the world without any comma and full stop change. There is a need for international standard for blockchain codification and blockchain standards for writing smart contract. Multilateral agencies like uh, world-based forums like World Bank, United Nations, IMF, these are the organizations which have to come forward and give the whole world certain codification and standards. Because whenever you are applying blockchain for handling transaction of cross-border, suppose you are handling an export-import transaction, which is a cross-border transaction, the smart contract has to take care of six to seven nations' laws. So if that has to be handled, then definitely there will be a clash of interest and the legal processes of various sovereign organizations like various sovereign states and countries. In that kind of a situation, if you have an international standard and code of ethics for blockchain applications, that will help us. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not for a moment saying that the individual sovereignties will be taken away. Individual sovereignties will be very much there, but the international standards will definitely help us to ensure that when I write a blockchain-based blockchain, blockchain -based platform for people to participate all across the countries and share the benefit of one country with the, with the, with the needful people or needy people of the other country, we need a standard. Uh, I, I hope that uh, Asma channel will give me an opportunity in future 
to talk about it in much more detail and uh, i have uh, i have uh, uh, quite a bit of ideas and thoughts to share and look forward to that opportunity thank you very much indeed again asma for giving me this opportunity to talk about blockchain technology thank you so much